Earth systems operate at many different tempos. Some, like the weather, are quick. Others take many millennia to complete a single cycle. Modern satellite technology has only just revealed how the slow and the fast link together. And the results are extraordinary. This parched land, the Sahara Desert in Africa, was once lush and green. But even today, it plays a key part in the cycle of life on the Earth. It's May, the height of the dry season. Camel herders travel through one of the most exposed regions of the Sahara, an ancient inland sea that dried up 5,000 years ago. The Bodele Depression. The ground beneath their feet, called diatomite, is made from the ancient corpses of plankton. <laughs> It's rich in compounds of iron and phosphorus, two elements needed by all known living organisms. More remarkable still, these very grains of sand will in just six days' time breathe life into a tropical rainforest 5,000 miles away. takes just one flake of diatomite to lift into the air to start the process of rebirth. The flake fractures into a fine powder that's carried off by the wind. Soon more microscopic flakes fill the air. This visualization, made with data from a satellite called Meteosat, reveals a daily pulse of dust. Here it's shown as a cloud lifting from the desert. The dust rises with an almost clockwork precision at noon each day. What started as a microscopic process is now a vast dust storm. It's 100 stories high and several hundred kilometers wide. The cloud of ancient plankton is now blown across Africa. At the west coast, the dust is drawn upwards high into the sky and begins an epic voyage across the Atlantic, carried by the prevailing wind. Satellites reveal that 54,000 tons of dust is transported 8,000 kilometers to the Amazon in a single day. It's 
here in these clouds, high above the rainforest, that the ancient plankton is reborn in spectacular fashion. The minerals in the dust dissolve into water droplets. It falls onto the Amazon with the rain. Precipitation falls incessantly throughout what is now the Amazonian rain season, delivering a total of 40 million tons of African dust into the forest below. What was once plankton now passes into the soil and into the tree's roots, revitalizing the forest. The fertilization of the Amazon by Saharan dust remained invisible to humans until the advent of a satellite called Terra. Terra's instruments are so sensitive, they can not only observe the dust migrate to the Amazon, they can measure the growth of the canopy from space. It's possible to watch what happens at the end of the rain season when the sun returns. For the first time in six months, the sun shines directly onto the forest. The result is an explosion in growth. Every leaf there is now, three more will appear in just 10 days. A wave of green crosses the continent. The migration of Bodele dust to the Amazon is just one of thousands of similar processes that distribute vital minerals to living habitats all over the world. Deserts, mountains, and ancient sediments, each one has a different composition, and they enter the chain of life in a myriad of ways. soil around the planet depends on these processes. The Great Plains of North America are formed from glacial deposits, perfect for the production of wheat and corn. In Bangladesh, the Ganges Delta is rich in iron eroded from the Himalayas, an essential ingredient for growing rice. Other minerals are transported in air, water, and ice all around the globe. And this, in turn, has enabled plants to radically reshape our planet. Plants are more than just a product of the Earth. They, in turn, are a powerful force that over hundreds of millions of years have modified the planet. They have changed the composition of the atmosphere and have defined what we humans are, shaping many aspects of our bodies and even our minds.